Why study the Bible? And 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Be diligent to present yourself approved to God as a workman who does not need to be ashamed, handling accurately the word of truth. The Holy Spirit protects you from false doctrine, but that doesn't eliminate the need for diligent Bible study. For the next few days, we'll consider several benefits of Bible study. Today, we'll address the broader question of why Bible study is necessary at all. Perhaps you know believers who think Bible study is unnecessary. Bible reading, they say, is sufficient because we have the Holy Spirit who teaches us all things. Often they cite 1 John chapter 2, verse 27 in support of their view. As for you, the anointing, the Holy Spirit, which you receive from God, abides in you. And you have no need for anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things, and is true and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, you abide in him. That passage, however, isn't implying that Bible study or Bible teachers aren't necessary. On the contrary, John was exhorting his readers to abide in what they've already learned, found in verse 24, and shun only those teachers who deny Christ and try to deceive believers. The Holy Spirit is the believer's resident lie detector, granting discernment to shield him or her from false doctrine. Although a Christian may be temporarily confused by false teachers, ultimately, he can never drift into apostasy or deny Christ. If anyone does depart from the faith, his departure is proof that he was never a true believer in the first place. And that's found in verse 19. The Spirit protects you from error, but you must fulfill your responsibilities as a student of the Word. Even a man of Timothy's spiritual stature needed to study the Word diligently and handle it accurately, found in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. I pray that the psalmist's attitude towards Scripture will be yours as well. Oh, how I love thy law. It is my mediation all the day, found in, found in Psalms chapter 119, verse 97. Thank God for his precious word. Ask him to give you a deeper love for its truth. Amen. God bless you. Until next time.